Gareth Southgate needs to walk tonight. He needs to go into his press conference at Molyneux and do exactly what Kevin Keegan did when we got beat at home at Wembley by Germany. He needs to quit in his press conference. He needs to have the minerals to own up and accept that he is not the man for the job. He is tactically inept. He is not good enough. And he has proved to us time and time again that England will get nowhere under his stewardship. That is the worst England performance at home since 1928. 94 years, Gareth Southgate has... Finally achieved something. He has set a new record. A worst England performance at home for nearly 100 years. And if he has anything about him, if he is this man of principle that we keep hearing he is, the press will have us believe that he is a man of honour and principle and takes pride in who he is and what he does. He will walk from this job because he must admit he is not good enough. He must be suffering drastically from imposter syndrome. He must look around that dressing room and think, I don't know what I'm doing here. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. He's looking at world-class footballer after world-class footballer thinking, I do not know what I'm doing in this room. But it's wicked. I've got a wicked job. I earn loads of money. I go around the world and everyone loves me. I, I cannot believe what I've witnessed tonight. It was absolutely pathetic. Pathetic. If you thought that the first three games of this tournament were bad, you wouldn't believe what you watched tonight. It was outrageous. And now England are bottom of the group. We have two points. Two points. We've scored one goal and we have just been battered home and away by a side that are ranked 40th in the world. <laughs> it, it borderline funny. If it wasn't so tragic, if it wasn't so upsetting, if we didn't have a World Cup to win in a few months' time, this would be hilarious. But... It's actually harrowing because we are going to waste this amazing, gifted, wonderful crop of supremely talented footballers on a clown. I did my best with Southgate. I committed to him last year. I argued with my friends on the kickoff. You probably watched it. I argued with Jordy. I argued with Adam. And I said that we have to back Southgate. We have to pledge loyalty to him and demonstrate Aggressive support, but it's over. It's over. It's an experiment. It's a social experiment almost. Let's give somebody a job that they have no right to have. He's a manager that could not get a job in the Premier League. Gareth Southgate is nowhere near a Premier League manager. We've just been destroyed at home by Hungary. Do you know the geezer in the Hungary team? Plays for Barnsley. Plays for Barnsley. And at 4 0, we were desperate in the black country. It is un. Believable what happened at Molyneux. I'm honestly flabbergasted at quite how bad that was. Listen, I went to Brazil under Hodgson. I was at that World Cup that was a new low for English football because England were out of the World Cup before we even had to play our third game in a group. England played two games and were launched out of a tournament because Roy Hodgson was completely out of his depth. I was also in France. In Nice on a Monday night when Roy Hodgson was our manager and we got slapped up by Iceland. I was there as well. But guess what? Neither of those two appalling instances following England come anywhere close to what happened tonight. That was tragic. It was painful. It was absolutely unacceptable. And I think what makes it all the worse is the fact that we know we are good enough to win this World Cup. That's not saying that we're going to win it, but we are good enough to win it. We are one of the countries that have the players that are good enough to win it. We have the personnel. We have everything that you could possibly need to win a World Cup. We have the star quality. We have the experienced footballers. We have the mercurial talent. We have the goal scorer. We have everything that we could possibly need but we have a clown in the dugout. And unless that changes, unless somebody demonstrates an element of bravery and sacks this coward, or the coward himself, stops being a coward and does the right thing for his country and walks, we have no chance. We are going into a World Cup that we should be one of the favourites for, and it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's touch and go whether we get out of a group. Wales, America and Iran will be looking at us thinking, oh, do you know what, they're there for the taking. These are dumb. We can, we can do these. They're good on paper, but they ain't got a clue how to play on grass. Now their manager, not switched on. 
It's truly unacceptable. And I tell you what, Southgate was so lucky. By the end, Molyneux was half empty because everybody was streaming out. But if it was full, the boos were loud enough and there was nobody there. Did you hear the songs? Everybody's singing, you don't know what you're doing, you're getting sacked in the morning. But annoyingly, he's not getting sacked in the morning because the FA are such an old Thai institution where they do not they do not look at his record. It is not a meritocracy. He's seen as being a statesman who represents the, the FA and the country very well. Get the best man for the job. Don't waste this amazing crop of players on somebody that is a statesman. If that, it's unbelievable how bad that was. It's truly woeful. And as I said, people are singing, you don't know what you're doing. And that's true. People are also singing, you're going to get sacked in the morning. And he's not. Because the FA won't do it. The FA do not have the minerals. The FA gave him a new contract when there was no need. Nobody wanted Southgate. Nobody was hoping for Gareth Southgate. No Premier League club was waiting for the services of Gareth Southgate, desperately hoping to pry this wonderful talent out of the claws of the FA. Nobody cared. And yet they gave him a new contract. The FA were bidding against themselves and they gave him a new contract. I honestly, I cannot believe it. I put this on Twitter. I said, Southgate is a coward that was truly woeful, tactically inept, blatantly out of his depth wasting one of the most gifted crops of players that we have ever had on a manager who lacks even a semblance of bravery or tactical nous. He needs to do the right thing for his country and walk away. We had two shots on target all night. Battered 4-0 at home. But do you know what? Listen to this. I've got two tweets that I think will explain exactly why Southgate will remain in the job. And I've got to do full disclosure here. The two people I'm talking about, I'm going to talk about a chap called Liban, who some of you will know does Sharky's podcast. And I'm going to talk about a journalist called Matt Lawton. Full disclosure, I don't know Liban. I never met him. We're not mates. I like him. I follow him on social media. I look forward to liking him, but I do not know him. So this isn't me backing my mate at all. I never met Matt Lawton either. So these are two tweets that I think show you exactly why he will remain in the job. Liban hits a nail on the head, in my opinion. Spot on. Listen to his tweet. They treat Southgate like he's a national treasure for losing a semi-final against the beatable Croatia and losing a final on home soil. One day we will look back on this era with shame. Preach, Liban. Bang on. Right? Listen to this. Now, this is from the established journo. The journo who has traction. The journo who people will listen to. The journo who writes in... I will tell you this very second. Right, it's in the Times, right? I subscribe to the Times, actually, but I'm not going to do any slander on them. But this is what Matt Lawton has to say. Southgate is the best thing that has happened to the England's men's team in decades. These games mean nothing other than something he can learn from. All that matters is the next tournament, and he's proved quite good at those. Booing him is moronic. Do you see the difference? Do you see how wrong this establishment media can be and how bang on Liban is? And yet Liban will be seen as a YouTuber who doesn't really know what he's doing as a bit of a chancer and Matt Lawton will be seen as this cerebral professor and student of the game whose words should be taken incredibly seriously. Southgate is the best thing that's happened to the England men's team in decades. The best thing that's happened to the England men's team in decades is Gareth Southgate. What is going on? What is going on? That is so wrong. It is so incorrect. But this is what it is. It feels like it's jobs for the boys. It feels like it's establishment journalists, people in high positions of power in the game, people with media presence that are perhaps friends with Gareth Southgate. They're all back in their man. And it's left to me and Liban to tell it as it really is. I, I'm furious. I'm genuinely furious with that today. Nightmare. Absolute nightmare. <sighs> Outrageous, isn't it? In a World Cup year, that's what we got to watch. In a bit. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, man. <laughs> 